I keep a list of females who want to talk to me. Cool, Rebby. That's cool. Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, back with another uh, me on Twitter, but I make Dyer make the video, and then I upload it to my channel, and then I get all the money from the video, and Dyer gets nothing. Anyway, today's about how you shouldn't mistreat women. <laughs> this is kind of a weird topic to uh, bring up, but over the last couple of days, Yu-Gi-Oh! has been experiencing as it has been experiencing for the past decade, growing problems with relation to women. Historically, Yu-Gi-Oh! has been a very male-dominated space, and thankfully that's been changing. Over the last five years, huge strides have been made in terms of representation, particularly during COVID. But as we transition from COVID inclusion to real-life inclusion, there have been some bumpy rocks on the road, to say the least, and that has manifested in a couple of high-profile uh, women and players getting just extremely creepy comments, harassed, and uh, doxxed. Um, so many of you may be wondering, is this a new thing? Has Yu-Gi-Oh! only recently just uh, developed a problem with women in their spaces? And the answer to that is, unfortunately, absolutely not. Yu-Gi-Oh! is built on a bedrock of skeevy opinions toward women, and to explain one of them, here is... The female list. Female list is one of my favorite things to talk about of all time. It is a uh, relic of Yu-Gi-Oh that I really think exemplifies the creepy attitude a lot of duelists have towards women specifically. It is a list that exists on the Yu-Gi-Oh fandom wiki that catalogs every single female monster ever printed. Now, if you've played Yu-Gi-Oh! ever, you may realize there is one glaring problem with this, and that is you are more likely to find a cybernetic dragon in space perusing Yu-Gi-Oh!'s card pool than you are to find a woman. How do you deal with the third gender, cyber dragons? Well, the answer is you break out the calipers and you start diagnosing individual monsters with woman. Most monsters are visibly female due to having female secondary sex characteristics. I assume this list is transphobic somehow, there's no shot it isn't. I mean, it's not like outwardly transphobic, but any scenario in which you bust out the calipers to figure out how many secondary sex characteristics are necessary to categorize an individual as female, I mean, it's probably problematic to some degree. Anyway, why does this list exist? Well, there's a couple of reasons, and they're all really good. Uh, firstly, in the manga, Shadow of Eyes allows a female monster to use pheromones to tempt male monsters in attack position, so, you know, there's that. Uh, in Zexel, number 22, Zombie Stein prevents it from attacking female monsters. I mean, you, I, you, you, I, you, you, you have to, you have to catalog every single monster that's ever come out. Uh, what if Zombie Stein can't attack it? Uh, in Forbidden Memories, some monsters can be fusion summoned using female materials. Now, this is actually true and very weird, but Forbidden Memories came out in 1999. It's got like 30 monsters total in it. There are over 5,000 in this list. So really, why was this list devised? Well, I think we all know why. So anyway, there are thousands of monsters in these lists, but today we're gonna look at some of the weirdest of them. And uh, I'll start with Eater of Millions. I think this one qualifies because you can just barely make out Esper Girl in this art, uh, but I like to think that someone figured that Eater of Millions was a female just because of like her haircut or something. Bio Mage. <laughs> I loved this card as a kid. Uh, I have no idea what's going on here. Multiple Hieratics are on there. I will not make the joke about Hieratic Dragon of Esetussi. I know that it's there. I will simply view it, picture it in my mind's eye, and walk away. Petite Angel. Oh, this is great. All of the cards with Angel in their name made it on. I think someone just blanket added them. This is not a woman. This is a Kirby. Fire. Straw Man! Straw Man doesn't... <laughs> How the fuck did you get a woman out of Straw Man? This is a robot. It is literally made out of... Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? You can just barely see Farm Girl's leg in the art. I've noticed an error. Japanese Utopia should be listed as female. As we all know, Hope is a girl's name. That's true. Also, Hope is a political slogan, which we would see in 2008 and then again in 2012. People really want to fuck a robot. No shot quick is on here. I'm not even checking. Is it because there's like maybe a skirt? Arcanine Magician is a woman, right? Maybe. Turns out black wings aren't only males in costume, but females too. 
How did they get this from Breeze the Zephyr? What, what is going, what? I mean, I'm gonna have to call Simo. We'll phone a friend on this one. Obviously, this is meant to be the monster that's on Valkyrie Chariot is a female, but it is funny to think that the chariot proper, like the wheeled machine, is in fact a woman. There's like a ton of Infernoids on this list. I think Tierra's on here, Devi Addy. You know what they say, all women be demonic leviathan beasts who be negating by tributing. I'm always saying this. <laughs> be happy for her. Her transition is going well. This card. The question is, which one? What if I told you we will find out the answer by the end of this video? Manipulator token. <laughs> Finally, the female manipulator. This is, this is a bird. Moon dragon quilla. This card requires knowledge of the gender of the Incan moon goddess Kila to properly gender. I'm okay with this one. I'm sorry, this is not a human. <laughs> I'm assuming it's due to the torso on top of it that looks kind of like a blob. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, this is a demon. A warning point made it because right in the corner you can find tour guide. Female located. Well, it's a lover. You know, it has to be a female men can't love. Got to one is a doll combined with a portal to hell. Okay, well the doll might be female. And the other is Evigishki Tetroger. We know this because it's Noella after being transformed. Okay, sure, whatever. Uh, there's no shot, right? There's no way this is on there. Despite all three of this being the same person, only one of them is on the female list. Can you figure out which one? It's got to be nobleman, right? I mean, they've got blue hair and pronouns. Arsenal Summoner is female? I I guess they could be. Is it because the weird picture in the back is The picture is Butterfly Dagger Elma's monster. That's why this is listed as female. What's the problem? This is clearly a woman. <gasps> oh my god, rock. Oh my god, the they drew rock tits. You're fucking with me. Uh, well, this is the lady desk bot because it's pink, see? Uh, you know, it, th this has, you know, the classic female secondary sex characteristic, which is ball. It, it's, is it because of the flower? Because <laughs> girls like flowers, you know? It's, put it on the list. It's women like flowers. You got to put it on the list. Good for her. Avram really went, check this out, and transitioned. Congrats. Junk forward? <laughs> they are, wow. Uh, I always thought junk forward was more of a machine. I guess technically it has high heels. Is it because Ruby is a girl's name? Ruby is the gem that it is named after. All right, are you ready for me to actually ruin this card for you forever? Ruby Carbuncle is like a cat. It has back feet that are normal like a cat's, but the front, it's got human hands. This is what real women look like. Like, how do they come up with this? How do you look at Insector Giga Cricket and be like, quick, bust out the calipers. What's her breast to chest ratio? All in all, I think this speaks to kind of the general attitude of the Yugi playing public uh, about women. Uh, so often they are not, you know, people to be respected and heard out, uh, but weird oddities to ogle and catalog. And, you know, I think that we as players can do a much better job uh, of including women not only in, you know, a very general sense, but also in a meaningful sense, you know, like not just allowing them to attend locals, but also, you know, uh, taking them seriously as competitors, players, and friends, and not scrutinizing every fucking cybernetic dragon Konami has ever printed to find out if it has sufficient tits or not. That's it.